Hey everybody, Bear Ghost here, and today we're going to do a video that's a little bit different than my normal commentary on gameplays. Basically, I get a lot of questions and a lot of people that ask me daily, what recording software do I use? I can't even tell you guys how many times I get asked that question a day on almost every video. Somebody comes out and asks, what recording software do you use to record your gaming? So basically, I use Fraps currently. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner, Fraps is currently recording my desktop. Um, and that's what I use for everything. I just, I like Fraps, but there's another program out there that I actually wanted to show you guys because Fraps is currently $40 to purchase this program. I've had it ever since I started. I actually purchased Fraps as an Easter present for my son about two, two and a half years ago. And because um, it was his original idea to do YouTube commentaries and it kind of just he it kind of just exploded into me kind of doing it and then we kind of just went from there but anyway um, so Fraps is currently what I use Fraps is about forty dollars it is an excellent program there's a lot of people that swear by Fraps there's a lot of people that hate Fraps it's it's kind of one of those love hate type things um, there's a lot of people out there that like to use Bandicam I also have Bandicam I've experimented and played with several different recording software programs um, Bandicam is a very good program as well. I, I liked it. I only used it when I would record my desktop because Fraps I didn't know how to record desktops until recently. So now I can do everything with Fraps. I can record desktop gameplay, I can record gameplay, and it records audio through my uh, blue uh, snowball microphone as well. So it picks up everything. So for those of you who are looking for a really good recording program to record your games, you can use Fraps. Fraps is a very, very simple and easy program to use. You download it, you hit F9 and start recording. I mean, it's 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 pretty simple. There's a few settings in there that you can plug in to put in your microphone and all that other stuff and your you know all that. But it's 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 pretty simple. If you guys are looking for a program that's a little bit cheaper than that and it's also very simple, um, there's a new program that I'd like to show you guys. And I went ahead and installed it, and it's called Action. So if we double click this program here, basically this is a free trial. This one is as easy as it gets as far as download, you know, as far as recording uh, video game commentaries. So for those of you out there who are wanting to start video game commentaries for the very first time, maybe want to start a 30-day trial on this, come check it out. This program is only $30, and um, it's it's I haven't recorded with it yet as far as putting up something up on YouTube, but I've done some uh, you know a few tests, and it seems to work really really well. So basically, when you open up the program, this is the beginning layout of it here. You have this very first tab, and it defaults to F9, just like a lot of programs do for your starting as, you know, recording. Basically, you've got a few very simple settings here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Do you want to record an AVI or MP4? What size do you want? Do you want 1080p, 720p, or 480p? I like to do everything in 720 uh, 1080p is really nice, but it takes a lot longer to upload, and it also has a higher chance of failing. My video frame rate, I lock everything at 60 frames, um, and I do max resolution on all my games as well. Um, you also have a few other settings here, you know, like always record your microphone, you know, stuff like that. Um, you've got your sound settings here, you know, as far as if you want to do record, you know, record separate with just your voice. You've got benchmarking, you've got screenshots, and then here's your options here. It's it's very, very, very simple to go through it. And, you, and in your options, you've got just your typical options here. You've got your uh, recording settings if you want your video quality, your input range, that sort of stuff. Your audio, see right there, it's picking up my, uh, my blue snowball microphone there. Um, this is where you can choose to change where you want your, uh, you know, your little recording numbers like Fraps has. Um, this is like your password stuff if you want to and then here's all your keys for everything so basically to jump right into it it's very very simple if you want to record your desktop like I'm doing now you just click this thing here active active desktop currently right now it is going to start filming my desktop if I press the F9 key that's all there is to it now if you want to do a browser game like for example there's a lot of folks out there that like to play browser games like uh, Happy Wheels for example so you would click activate desktop region so basically what you do is is you would open up your browser and then you would just you know line this up to wherever your happy wheels game is hit F9 and it'll start to record that's all there is to it when you're done you hit the X it takes you back that's all there is to it if you want to start recording games 
you just open this up first and there's a little video game controller right here you just click this open up your game and then you'll see your little number head display in the corner whichever corner you selected and it will start to record your game when you press F9 that is how simple this program is uh, fraps is a little bit easier in the fact that you just open up fraps and hit F9 you don't have to deal with any of this sort of stuff here unfortunately with fraps you don't have this option to like if you want to record happy wheels you're gonna record the entire browser whereas this here you could record just the actual window of the gameplay so um, so anyway yeah so there's that program there and actually I'll slide over off my other monitor here really quick so that way you guys can see this is the website it's made it's called uh, Morellis is the actual website's name and I'll put a link in the description as well and the program you're gonna download is called action and it's called action record everything basically currently right now you can do a free trial it's a 30-day free trial or you can purchase it for uh, thirty dollars like I said it's ten dollars cheaper than fraps and it does a little bit of everything with a little bit you know I would it wouldn't say it's a lot more work but just you know whereas fraps you just head F9 here you just I mean come on you can't be that lazy you just click whichever one you want to do Do you want to record your desktop do you want to record some browser games or do you want to record your other game you just click that open up your game and start recording it is as simple as that so anyway guys that answers your question I currently use fraps uh, for those of you who are asking about editing software I've tried a lot I know a lot of the bigger guys use uh, Sony Vegas I currently just use Windows Live Movie Maker because in all honesty guys all of my commentaries are live commentaries I do no editing whatsoever as far as all my all my games commentaries everything is a first time take I don't sit there and edit everything because I notice there's a lot of people out there that do a lot of Vegas and they look like robots when you're watching like vlogs how it kind of skips and skips and skips and skips and, and all that sort of stuff I don't do that all my everything that I do whether it's live commentaries vlogs face cams everything it's it's a one-time deal if I screw up I screw up I'm, I'm human it's part of my recording I don't edit anything out but then again let me reverse that I actually do in Windows Movie Maker I'll split and cut chunks of my videos out like if I fail at a game like if I'm dying over and over and over and over 10 or 15 times or if there's a lot of traveling in a car or a bike or something like that I'll cut those chunks of it out just to save grace of people having to watch that but that's the only editing I do I don't do anything else but at any rate guys um, like I said I just wanted to answer that question I get a lot of people asking what recording software what editing software I just use Windows Live Movie Maker it's very simple it's very basic and I upload to YouTube directly from this here I don't have to go to upload your you know save the movie then drag it to YouTube I do everything from this here it's a very very uh, easy program to do um, same with fraps you know but this is a very good program that I might be looking into just because it's kind of like an all-in-one program that's actually pretty pretty cool I just wanted to bring this to you guys because like I said I get asked daily what recording software I use I currently use fraps um, but this is a very good program that could be a go-to program for a lot of people and I just wanted to bring it to your guys' attention like I said link will be in the description below if you guys are interested in checking it out if you guys are new to recording commentaries this is a very good program to start with it's got a free 30-day trial fraps also has a free trial to begin with it's it's an unlimited free trial but you get a watermark a watermark it'll say fraps.com across the top of your screen and you're limited to making I think like 10 minute videos or 15 minute videos or something like that whereas you know this here you've only got a 30-day free trial but you've got a lot more options so at any rate, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I hope this is a program that might work for you guys. It might not be for everybody. Um, also, if you guys have issues with it or if it's not working right, um, no offense, but don't come to me asking, Bear, it's not working for me. How do I configure this? I don't know. I'm just here showing you guys another program you can use to record. You can always go to their website, to their support products, and see if you know you can get some help with them. I'm not a technician on their program to help you out as far as if it's working or not. It worked fine for me. I just fired it up and it started working. If it doesn't do that for you, um, then you might want to do some work on that. But it's a pretty simple program. As I said, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to download it if you want to check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next time.